After my win at the Pistol Games National Heat, I can finally claim to be back. With a 20-second tour meter, I got selected to represent Norway at the European Team Championships. With the national champs also coming up, a couple of weeks later, I'm trying to reach towards my peak with some assisted sprints. Now, let's head to Poland. And we're on a raid to the stadium to check it out and have a little bit of a warm-up after our travels. Jacob is running already tomorrow. Are you ready? I hope so. So we got our accreditation. Jacob, <laughs> what's this? <laughs> don't look, don't look. Ringo, once Back again. Back yeah. <laughs> After two excruciating days, you know, it was mad here. How was the track? I just love it. Like, this stadium, man, is something different. You know? Oh, wow. Sounds good. So the second and third division is finished and we're going on to the first division. For the European team champs, the countries are divided into three divisions. You score points in each event and the country's combined score will determine if we stay, as the bottom three will drop down to the second division for next time. We don't really belong here in the first division. Not at all. No. Not at we'll all. see how it goes. All of our team is uh, sick. Our 4x100 relay team consists of a 200 runner, a 100 runner, a 400 runner <laughs> and a decathlete. Hope we'll get the best on around on Saturday. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're at the warm-up track, going to do just a little bit of uh, jogging, what I call a shake-out. We're going to steal some water. <laughs> on day one I mostly relaxed and got well rested before our relay. Headed to the track though to take some pictures and have a look. Happy I did as I ended up meeting Gaetan Chiro, I hope that's how you say it, from La Capsule. He actually said he'd been partly inspired by my vlog to pick up the media work and he's now working at the European Team Champs, Morning. so make sure to check him out. So it's eight hours till we race, we're having our first relay training of the year. You feeling? Feeling <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <My f> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Sandor is just going to do his uh, three warm-up exercises. And then we're ready. Yes, very. Considering our team consists of one decathlete, two short sprinters and one 400 runner who has never run a 4x1 relay before, things are looking really good actually. I got a really positive feeling from this training session and looking forward to tonight. And I think we'll do really well tonight. <laughs> You might notice that I was in the ice bath for a very short time, but I'm just giving Matthias just a little bit of confidence. He needs it. I'll, I'll just help him. <laughs> so we're starting our warm-up soon. And as you can see, we are ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sandal got our relay off to a good start. We had a nice first exchange. <laughs> And moving up, we're having an all right second exchange as well. I'm struggling to reach for the final exchange. I was just a bit slower than anticipated after the morning session and Hova might have been just a bit faster as well. The judges will have a second look and we're disqualified for being about 30 centimeters over the exchange. Point. So we fucked it up today about this much. Gonna make up for that tomorrow with 200. Hope I don't get lane 2 once again. Luckily, I got lane 7 tomorrow. Wow, look at those muscles. The two first the guy in Eilat on the way in was in Bane 6. Now it's Bane 7. Yeah, but it's the utterste Bane. Yeah, my favorite Bane. So an unhappy thumbs down on day 2 as we're in position to rank down. The stadium looking fine though. Good morning, it's a new day here in Poland and I'm running the 200 meter. Time is 9.50, I'm gonna go downstairs and eat some breakfast now. I'll do a really, really small warm up just to get my body moving. I'm running at 4.20 today, let's go. Now I'm out here in this abandoned looking place doing some drills just to get ready for tonight. And I'm feeling okay, a little bit stiff 
from the relay. It's getting the start bips ready. Yeah, probably not. Let's go! <laughs> let's go! Yeah, let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! An extensive warm-up is done, I'm feeling fine. We're on to the call room and ready for the B-Final. Power in the blocks is feeling real nice. Let's go. And I felt like this could have been so much better. Coming out the blocks, I'm thinking, nice start, just go, go, go. Okay, I'm picking up the speed on the Finnish guy, feeling good. Now just relax. Damn, this is really smooth, like a 20.7 feeling. Just keep flying like this, no worries, come on. And at this point, I'm starting to slow down, I can't figure out why. It felt so easy, I had a weird step around here, lost my composure and rhythm before it felt like just everyone flew past. I felt bad to lose so many placings in the final 40 meters, but I did give it my best. Ended up with a 21.27, but honestly, it felt like such a fast race. This time, going through the bend for the first 120 meters is the first time in a long, long while where I've sincerely felt like I'm back at my top level. Now I just gotta keep working on my rhythm and the final 80 meters towards the national champs in a couple of weeks, and I hope we can go for some medals in 100 and 200 there. Here you can see one of the several times I met Shuvo on and around the track. Once again, make sure to check him out if you're interested in both his own content and his content of other athletes. Now thank you so very much for watching everyone. I'm sorry for waiting so long to post this one. There will be more videos soon enough. Feel free to hit the subscribe button to get notified for my next upload. And an extra big thank you to the channel members and the Sprint Squad supporters. Check out my Patreon for Sprint training programs. And I'll catch you guys next time on Project Practice. Peace.